Imagine updating your Elgin info, traceability, and your promo content without replacing a single label. Well, that is possible with the GS1 QR code. Now, right now, I am going to show you how to generate your GS1 codes with QR Tiger, which is super easy to use. They are GS1 compliant and they are trusted by thousands of companies out there. So make that jump from using 1D bar codes to GS1 QR codes. So let me show you how right now. Making the switch from 1D bar codes to the GS1 digital link to the barcode doesn't have to be complicated at all. With QR Tiger, this is going to be super easy. Plus, by January 2027, this is going to be the ultimate standard. Why? Because the GS1 digital link QR code combines tracking and marketing in a single code, eliminating the need for both 1D barcodes and QR codes. Now, let me show you how to do this with QR Tiger. Now, they have two available versions. One is the extended version and the other one is the simplified version. The extended version lets you provide more information that could be relevant to your business and the simplified version, it's a simpler version of the GS1 digital link QR code. Now, let's get started with the simple version in case this is what you want to use. So let's get started. The first thing we need is the GTIN code, which is a 14 digit format code. So it, I'm going to provide a random code just for testing purposes. And you're going to see that automatically this link updates with details here. Now, this link will be tied to the QR code, which is going to make it super smart. And I'll show you why. Next, we have the option to show the EM barcode below the QR code. So when we generate this, we'll also have the EM barcode here. And we can also display the GTIN under the QR code. So we're going to enable both of these so you understand how it's going to preview once we generate the QR code. Now, currently, QR Tiger is working on a feature to download the 1D barcode and the QR code separately while the industries and the systems transition. Next, we have the available options to make the GS1 QR code really smart. So we can take the people who scan the QR code to a link, and this could be a link to your product page, a link to a manual, a link to some uh, warnings, etc. This is super useful. So in this case, I'm going to use a link to this uh, coffee grinder and I'm going to grab the link. So let's go ahead and add this link. That means that when they scan this GS1 QR code, it's going to take them to this link, which could be super useful depending what you use it for. OK, so let's go ahead and generate our QR code and that should be updating really quickly here. Here we go. We now have our GS1 digital link QR code ready to go. So we got the QR code, we got our barcode and we got the GTIN code on the bottom. So a lot of information is provided in a single piece of label that you can add to your box, to your packaging or whatever you need it for. Okay. Now we can also modify the look and style of the QR code so we can change the pattern. So here we go. We're going to update this and the look is going to change. So now it's generated into a different style in case you want to give it a real personal touch to your GS1 QR code. We, we can also change the eyes here. So right now they are kind of rounded off. I can make it totally squared with these options available. You see it updated there. We can change the color. So if I want to change it to a different one, change the background or just keep it a transparent background, which could be a good idea depending on what you're going to use or print it on. Right next, we can change the frame. So if we want to add a cool frame to this, that is possible too. Once we're good to go, we have several options to download this. PNG, SVG, PDF, EPS, and the size of the GS1 QR code. Once you select the one you like, go ahead and download it and you'll be good to go. That's the simplified version. You can't make it easier here with QR code. So that's the way to go. Now, if you want to use the extended version, which would let you provide more information to make your GS1 QR code smarter, it is possible. And I'm going to show you why, because these data attributes are going to really help you out depending on the product that you have. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to need our code here. So we're going to add this one again, just a random code for testing purposes. Then we have options available here. So key qualifiers. So these are just optional, but we can add it here. So there could be a consumer product variant. So I can say BLK if it's going to be black, for example, the batch or lot number. In this case, I am going to say uh, just a random number here. And I can know that that batch number is tied to this label that's going to be printed on certain batch of products that are sold or sent off somewhere. Then I also have a serial number. So let's just say that these are some refrigerators and I know that all the serial numbers should start with a random uh, text and letters. Here we go. Okay. That's going to be my serial number just for testing purposes. Okay. So it, you can see that it's the GS1 digital link is updating down here because it's getting smarter and all these details are going to help you with the analytics of these products that you're going to be sending off right next we have the data attributes so there's an application identifier here which also is going to help you so they make it super easy for you to add the value to this so for example 
if I'm going to use the packaging date, I go ahead and select this and add the value over here. Expiration date. So this could be really useful depending on the product that you're selling. Maybe it has an expiration date. So we got the year, month and date. So I'm going to say that this is going to expire on the year 33 and the month 08 and the date the 10th. All right. So here we go. We now have the value and this value is updated again in the GS1 digital link down here. We can also use the custom option here so we can view the list by clicking on it and it's going to take us to this link right here which is the gs1 digital link application identifier number which is super extends and i think this is a super awesome option that is available with the gs1 qr codes because depending on the code that you use your gonna identifier number is gonna depend on what it's gonna be for so for example it's gonna tell you here uh 21 is gonna be for serial number 240 is gonna be for manufactured additional product ID and there's going to be for weight, sell by date, etc. package date, due date for payment, harvest date. I mean, this is awesome, right? Let me show you one for the weight. So we have the net weight here and that's going to be the code 3100. So let's go ahead and use that one. Let's go ahead and set this off 3100 and the weight for this is going to be five. What is five? Well, that's going to be five kilograms because that's the identifier number that I use. And there's several available numbers for several use cases. I mean, there's probably thousands of these, if not hundreds. But for use cases, you've got a bunch of numbers here that are going to help you with the identifier number that's going to be tied to your GS1 digital link that is going to be super useful in the future. So we're good to go. We're also going to enable show EM barcode below the QR code, which is useful. And depending on the business that you have, because if this is products that are going to be sh shipped off to a supermarket, they need to scan. So enabling that would be a good option. Display the GTN under the QR code, optional, but you have the option there. Okay. And then we have several options here. We already explored the option for the URL, which I told you that we can take to a link to a product link, maybe a promotion, a giveaway, etc. It's up to you how you want to use the link, but you have the option there. You also have the option for file. Let's go ahead and continue. You switch to a new category. Here we go. Now we're able to add a file. Now this file could be a PDF, JPEG, PNG, MP4, Excel, or Word. What can this be? Well, let's just say that we are selling furniture and we need to provide an instruction. Well, why not add it as a file when they scan it? That makes it super useful. And the beauty about this is that you can change this later on. So maybe someone complained that the step was missing and you're like, oh man, I need to reprint anything. Well, you don't have to with the GS1 digital link QR code because you can just go ahead and update the file here. And once they scan it again, you have the updated manual for that. And that, that makes it super useful. There's also the option for the link page. So you can make a link page here. You can customize it by adding all your details here, several links, your social media accounts, etc. And you have all these available options that you can start using right now to generate the links that you need here, which can also be useful. Again, you can, instead of using just a single link, you can use the link page which could be more useful, but it's up to you how you want to use it. There's also the multi URL. So this is an option for location, number of scans, the language, geofencing. So you can set the link depending on the geolocation of that section and you can add more sections here. So it could be for a different country and you can change the geofence to open up a different link. So it's useful and depending on the one you want to use, go ahead and add, add it here. So this is geofencing, there's location, which would be practically the same, but with locations, that could be but more useful depending on how you want to use this. Okay. Number of scans, language, etc. So if it's scanned too many times, it's going to switch. It's up to you how you want to use that and the app stores. So when they scan this and if they are using an iPhone, well, it's going to open up the link that you add here for the iOS. So if that goes to an application, it'll go to the app store for iOS. If it's an Android, you'd select a different link. If it's for Harmony, well, you add that link there, but there's several options available. And once you are good to go, go ahead and generate your QR code, just like I showed you before. Now, one of the big advantages of using QR Tiger here is that we can update the details later if we need to, which is super useful. As I mentioned in the manual observation that I made, if they make changes, you can update the file here. Now to do that, we are going to go to my account. We are going to go to URL and in URL. We're going to find all our GS1 digital link QR codes. So this is the one that we've generated previously in the simplified one. And there's several options available that we can use here aside from just updating it. Okay. 
So we got our retarget option. We can set an expiry. So let's just say that this is a product that shouldn't be sold in five years. Well, you can go ahead and expire the QR code from here. The GPS, the notify, password, UTM parameters. We can go ahead and edit it from here. So we can go ahead and make changes. I can go ahead and view the statistics for this. So if this is scanned all over the world, statistics are going to help you with a lot of details that can improve your information that you need to make more sales or do a lot of things with it. So the total scans, unique scans and how they are being used. You'll find the data right here. So it's super useful and you can go ahead and download it here in case you forgot to download it when you generated it. So several available options. So what are you waiting for to update your 1D barcodes to the GS1 Digital Link QR codes? Don't forget that QR Tiger is GS1 compliant. So check them out and sign up right now and start creating your GS1 codes. And that is a wrap.